Beijing's largest aircraft carrier recently conducted its first military drills, solidifying China's position among the world's top navies. In addition, China released a polished video showcasing fighter jets taking off, patrolling waters, and successfully landing again. Fujian also deploys the next generation of stealth fighters, designated as J-35s. The radar cross-section RCS of China's J-35 series fighter jet is smaller than a human palm, thanks to its special fuselage design and metamaterial technologies exclusive to China, official media revealed on Sunday. An expert said this indicates the J-35's world-class stealth capability, giving the Chinese warplane a significant advantage. Such a small RCS can enable the J-35 to remain undetected until it is very close to its target, giving it more advantages and opportunities in combating. The details on the J-35 series stealth capability were provided in an in-depth report by China Central Television News on Sunday. The report followed the announcement by the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy on September 22 that China's first electromagnetic catapult-equipped aircraft carrier, the Fujian, had achieved a breakthrough by hosting the first catapult-assisted takeoff and arrested landing training for the J-15T heavy fighter jet, the J-35 stealth fighter jet, and the KJ-600 early warning aircraft. China's newest and biggest aircraft carrier has conducted military drills for the first time, putting it in the top tier of world navies and capable of striking anywhere on Earth. On Monday, the three carrier-based aircraft, namely the J-15T fighter jet, the J-35 fighter jet and the Kongjing 600 early warning plane, completed their inaugural electromagnetic catapult-assisted takeoffs and arrested landings training aboard the Fujian aircraft carrier, according to a spokesman of the Chinese Defense Ministry, who also said the commissioning of the Fujian aircraft carrier would not be far off. Wang Yanan, chief editor of Beijing-based Aerospace Knowledge magazine, told the Global Times on Sunday that an RCS the size of a human palm, or roughly that of a sparrow, should be considered very small for an aircraft. It means that the J-35 stealth capability is at a world-class level. Such a small RCS can enable the J-35 to remain undetected until it is very close to its target, giving it more advantages and opportunities in combating, Wang Yanan said. CCTV News also introduced another key performance parameter of the J-35. The report revealed that the maximum takeoff weight of the J-35 is close to 30 tons and is powered by two medium-thrust engines completely independently developed by China. Wang Yanan said that while the J-35 is a medium-sized fighter jet, a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 30 tons means that it is almost a heavy fighter jet. Thanks to the electromagnetic catapult technology, the J-35 can take off fully loaded with munitions and fuel, giving it a longer range and endurance and stronger firepower. The CCTV news report noted that the J-35 is the carrier-based version of the J-35A, China's independently developed new-generation multi-role stealth fighter jet. When the J-35A made its debut at Airshow China 2024, it was announced that the J-35 series has multiple variants, including versions for the Navy and the Air Force. Wang Yongqing, the chief designer of multiple types of aircraft as well as the chief expert of the Shenyang Aircraft Design and Research Institute of the State-Owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC, told the Global Times in an exclusive interview in June that this concept has core advantages, including the realization of high efficiency and resource utilization. Many of our research achievements can be applied across different variants, such as sensors, onboard equipment, and avionics systems. This development model has significantly reduced both the costs and time required for fighter jet development. Under this concept, the J-35 series fighter jets could be built and kept at a large number, and this will correspondingly reduce future maintenance costs and improve logistical efficiency of the equipment, according to the top designer. The Fujian aircraft carrier has already undergone multiple sea trials, showing perfect conditions of the entire ship, and meeting the technical requirements. And the three types of carrier-based aircraft have successfully completed their electromagnetic catapult-assisted takeoffs and arrested landings aboard the Fujian aircraft carrier. This shows that the aircraft carrier is reliable, the three types of carrier-based aircraft are reliable, and they are already of actual combat capabilities. The Fujian is capable of operating the Kongjing 600, China's first carrier-based fixed-wing early warning aircraft. This would allow one carrier to enhance situational awareness and coordination for both carrier-based air wings. This development allows Chinese President Xi Jinping to command the carrier's 40 combat aircraft to hit targets virtually anywhere globally. The Fujian and its aircraft have reached world-class levels, weighing in at 72,500 tons, 
the carrier is one of the largest ships produced under China's extensive modernization program. It also represents a significant increase in capability. The carrier employs electromagnetic catapults MLs capable of launching heavy aircraft into the air at high speeds and catching them when they land on deck. Fujian also deploys the next generation of stealth fighters, designated as J-35s, electronic warfare aircraft called J-15Ds and sophisticated radar early warning planes, known as KJ-600s. The fleet commanded center stage at last month's military parade in Beijing. The warship was also observed navigating into the East China Sea by Japan's military two weeks ago. China military analyst Ben Lewis informed the United States Naval Institute that the trials indicated the fleet was nearly ready for commissioning. Alex Luck of Naval News noted that despite the carrier featuring three catapults, the recently released footage shows only one operational. It is observed that the J-35 stealth fighters are being launched, but the Americans have yet to launch theirs. He also noted that three KJ-600 AEWC aircraft are positioned on the deck, which may underscore the high priority and good progress of the carrier-borne early warning aircraft effort, which is one of the key capabilities setting Fujian apart from her older sisters Liaoning and Shandong. China's newest and biggest aircraft carrier has conducted military drills for the first time, putting it in the top tier of world navies and capable of striking anywhere on Earth. China's newest and biggest aircraft carrier has launched and recovered its fleet of next-generation aircraft under operational conditions for the first time. And that puts the People's Liberation Army Navy's Fujin Hull No. 18 in the top tier of the world's navies. It's a club comprising only the United States, France, and India. And it means Chairman Xi Jinping can now order its 40 combat aircraft to strike targets virtually anywhere around the globe. Beijing is making sure the world knows about it.